Okay, in this lecture we're going to talk about how to easily select cells when you are entering a formula. Now we've already looked at how to select cells just in a spreadsheet. You can use the right arrows, the down arrow, the left arrow, the up arrow. You can use shift and arrow to select a whole block up arrow and left arrow to go back. You can use your mouse, left click and drag and hold it and then release it when you're ready. Or you can even select a column, click control and select another column while holding down the control button. But those are ways to select cells just in general. We want to learn how to select cells when we're entering a formula. So let's go back to our kitchen remodel cost worksheet and go back to our total column where we're going to use the sum formula to add up all the total costs. And of course we enter our equal sign to start our formula and then we can type in sum and we enter the parentheses and you've probably figured out a few of these ways from watching previous lectures. But the first way is to just enter manually the cells that we want to use. So D3 colon which means through D10. And you can see that Excel highlights those cells with a blue border to give us a real good visual indicator that we've got the right cells. Then of course you close out your parentheses and hit enter. And you have your total. But let's start this over again. Another way, right, is to click the equal sign and use your drop down, click on the sum, and of course it brings up your function arguments and it automatically pre-populates the logical cells above the cell that you're working with and in this case those are correct so we would click OK and we have our correct answer again and then finally as we're entering our formula if we click on it right here we can manually select so you just left click on that drag down and again it gives you the D3 through D10 and you don't even have to close the parentheses with that you can just hit enter and it will automatically do it for you. Now the other thing we could do is we can select just a couple of cells by clicking and dragging or you can click press control let's say for instance that we just wanted to select the items under a thousand dollars we click on the first one we hold down the control button and then we select the rest of them and you'll notice that Excel does some things to define this in the formula. So it says D3, which is our first one, comma, which essentially means and, D6 through D10. So it has a single cell and a range of cells, all in the same formula. And then finally, we could define it like this. If we wanted, we could select this range. And then say, for instance, we had another set of data over here that we wanted to include, we could use the control key and select all of that. And then a final way to select cells, especially if you have a gigantic list, is you can click on your first cell, you can click control shift and the arrow key, and it will select all the way to the bottom of the column. But we'll actually need to go shift up one cell so that it doesn't include the cell where we are entering our formula. But that works great if you have a ton of data. So those are some quick and easy ways to select cells when you're entering your formula to make you just a little bit more efficient when using Excel.